All right, guys, passenger side is done. Um, got everything in, latched down, and um, everything is nice and tight. Um, all the lines look good. So you can see here what it looks like done. Um, the door, got everything in. You can see where the, where the holes are. Did have to finesse it just a little bit um, as far as the hole, you know, tweak the opening once I got everything sealed back in place because when you, when you bring the panels back together, they do, of course, pinch. And um, so I probably on the driver's side, on this one in particular, what you wanna be sure to do is towards the outside is be sure that you're basically as close to this edge as possible. Um, and you can see how close it is to the edge here. Um, on the on the front, you've got a little bit more room because it's at an angle, so you can put in a little bit larger hole. Um, I could have certainly gone up another uh, another size on the bit. I actually used a step drill. I could have gone one more size up without any issue. And um, but uh, it, it definitely looks good. Uh, I'll show you. The window does open. I think that this is that this zipper is. Uh, it's actually uh, the reason this doesn't go all the way down is there's a it's sewn right there I think that's on purpose, but I need to check uh, With the manufacturer to be sure that that is correct uh, But it, it does it does smoothly operate and uh, once again, I'll close it You do have to oh, see you do have to give it a good solid close, but uh, but when you do that uh, everything does seal nicely and um, up here at the front, sealed nicely. There's a small little gap right there, but no big deal there. Uh, door panel gap looks pretty good going all the way down. Uh, I have not yet figured out what I'm gonna do about my mirrors. I pulled the mirror off. Um, it was up here. Of course, that's gonna get in the way with the door opening. Um, I might consider putting the brackets back on, but I think what's gonna happen is because this gap is closed up, I'm not really gonna be able to use the the mirrors, but now that I've got the one mounted on the inside, I think that's a, a minimal concern. Um, so anyway, uh, again, I think, you know, from a winter perspective, this is really, really gonna make things nice and toasty on the inside. I'm really pleased with the way that this came out. I'm gonna, you know, send off a message and ask about this one, this one thing right here with the, uh, if that is supposed to go through the zipper um, that, you know, the, the answer may be no there. I don't know what the solution will be, but anyway, I'll email Spike and, and ask him about that. Um, anyway, I will get the driver's side done. Um, probably take a, a little break here for a moment. Uh, I will do a little bit of cleanup on this. I'll use some, uh, that, uh, actually you kind of see it in the background, the invisible glass spray, which is really gentle on, on stuff like this. Steak um, per se, but something I forgot as I was going through the, the directions, one of the things that these have is when you unzip the lower zipper, there is, find it right here, right here where this little notch is, there's a hole in the frame. And what they tell you is to unzip, mark the hole right here, and use, this is a, it, the name brand would be like a rib nut, um, but what you have is this sleeve, and the idea, is to put the sleeve in here and then this needs to be compressed so that this basically becomes a captured nut. So I forgot that. I, I did, not, uh, did not remember seeing that in the directions, but no, no huge thing. So what I thought was, well, I don't wanna have to take the whole door apart, so how do I fix this? Well, what I took was, this is the bolt they tell you to use. I took this locking um, locking nut, basically put it down through here, used a, I think it was a 10 millimeter wrench on this to hold this in place. And you can see how the teeth bit into this. So that prevented this from spinning. And then as I tighten down on the threads, it compresses and it actually has seated really nicely. You can actually see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, just some real slight creases there where it's pinched. So I think that's gonna be good. And what this is for is you take, uh, I've got to find somewhere over here in this mess. 
I believe it is, I think you take one of these. Let me look at the directions here. It says, uh, uh, let me see, the 6x40 exit. Install the thumb screw. So I have this, but I think it's meant to be this right here. So let me, tell you what, let me just kind of take this. I think I think the idea is to take this and force it onto here, maybe. Anyway, I'll have to. Um, I have to play around with that and see because this this is the hardware from the kit and there's not a there's not a thumb screw proper but there's two of these and I have two of these caps so I think that's that's what those are for and then these are when you have the door removed you can slide these into the hole just to cover the hole in the door but anyway um, just a little tip when I do the driver's door I won't forget that I'll I'll do it while the the inside cover is still off so I don't have to. To do that but it actually worked quite well so just a little tip there anyway um be carrying on here and uh, finishing up the other side thanks for watching All right, guys, we are fully enclosed. Uh, just gotta let it kind of sit and uh, let the uh, weather stripping take its form. But everything is done. Uh, just gotta clean up the tools and uh, it's ready for the trail. So I think, uh, I think everything looks good. Uh, might, do, uh, might do a few little adjustments after, after an initial ride, but I think this is gonna hold up really, really well. Um, I don't know if the camera picks up. There's a small little gap right there. So I, what I might need to do is take this bracket and just um, just adjust it just slightly. Um, and, uh, and to do that, I just pull off the inside door panel. I think that will give me enough access to it. So no big deal there. Um, other than that, I mean, everything seals really well. I'm very pleased. And, and I just noticed that that little gap's right here too. So. Um, but that's, that's to be expected. It's not designed to 100% perfectly seal everything. It's really just designed to uh, you know, do its best at, at keeping everything enclosed. I'm, I'm really looking forward to testing out the heater with the fully enclosed cab and seeing what a difference that makes. It should also be interesting too when you're going through mud puddles and you don't have to really worry about mud getting in the, in the unit because uh, previously, you, you, even if you have wider fender flares, you're still going to get some some water and mud coming up on the sides, um, and uh, it should be really interesting to kind of see what the effect is. So I welcome your comments in the video below. Uh, by all means, uh, I definitely, just based on the installation, I certainly recommend the spike doors. Uh, these are fairly new out on the market, um, really well made, very easy to install. And um, I, I did purchase these, by the way. These were not given to me. Um, and uh, just want to thank everyone for watching. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe. Really appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for the next one.